Hi guys, this is Lena from Way to Good Life Kids and I am so excited to see you again and I am again in the car. Just had a doctor's appointment, dropped off the kids, but the main reason why I am talking to you today is because I wanted to talk about camping. Do you love camping? I don't, but I used to when I was like 20 but not anymore. And guess what? My husband thinks it's the best thing ever. So if you're a mom who is like me, forced to go by her husband to go camping, or maybe you actually love camping, you know, with kids, you sort of kind of have to uh, worry about food. And is there every, what if, the, if there is a bad weather? What if there is no restaurant that you can go to? So how about today? I'll show I'll share with you some of the ways how you can uh, make some uh, meals ahead of time before you actually go to, you know, get off your driveway, get to the camp, and, you know, actually have the tent on. And I really hope that you're already a subscriber and you're loving it. And if you do, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if not, what are you waiting for, guys? We have some really, really, really cool stuff going on here. Okay. So let's get started. So guys, I recently uh, published this post that's called Make Ahead Meals for Camping. And it lists a variety of different options that's available to those of us who are not proficient of cooking on, you know, on a campfire. So I have some of my best picks right here and you gotta wait for until at the very end because I'll share some of the favorite I, I think are really really cool ideas you know products that can make the camping easy and also we'll share one very special recipes that every mom will absolutely love okay so the first one this one is from for the love of cross.com and it's a healthy banana bread muffins how cool is that I mean this is the easiest breakfast ever. You don't have to worry about scrambled eggs. You make the muffins ahead of time. You bring them with and the whole family is very happy in the morning and you don't have to actually do much about it. Well, at least while when you're in the camp. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna put all the links in the description down below. So don't, you know, don't try to take the notes. I'll have it all for you. Just scroll down, it's gonna be there. Okay, this one is by, oh, at home with the, oh my God, what is it called? At home with the Ellingtons. So I don't think I'll be doing this for the camp. However, they have a really, really great recipe of the granola. And think about it, the granola is another really good option if you are out and about. So it is really easy to make your own granola that would actually keep you fuller longer comparing to the granolas that you buy at the store. And this one is honey almond granola. Here is the next one, salad. Uh, yes, it's pre you're probably gonna wanna keep this in the cold, but you know, when it comes to cold dishes, the salads are the best. In uh, actually, if you think about it, look at the ingredients. There is pasta here, and there is also, uh, you know, if you just take a couple cans that have, uh, you know, corn and peas and get some cheese and sprinkle it and, you know, bacon. Bacon is perfectly fine outside. You can get yourself a salad in a matter of minutes. Okay, this is another really, really great uh, option for the snack or any time, or maybe the car, the car drive. This is a known bake energy bite. Those are the best, the ones that you don't have to bake. And it's a peanut butter oatmeal, but you create the little bowls like that and you just have them handy. And those, I think, are great, especially between the meals because the kids are going to be outside. Look at the, how delicious it looks. So they will get hungry more, you know, faster than when they are at home. So I give them one of these bowls and it's, it's full of really, really good stuff. Okay, another breakfast option. Make a cookie. You can make a cranberry and coconut cookie 
oatmeal cookie, any kind of cookie, probably not the chocolate if you're going into the someplace warm. But that's, I think that's a really great way to save your sale. This one is s'mores bars, which, you know, we all, yes, we know the kids really love the s'mores, but if this is, if you're not really planning to do the s'mores, this is your second best. Make the s'mores, bring them with s'mores bars. Another alternative of the salad, and this one is, it, this is by savorytooth.com, and it's a quinoa salad. I think the best thing you can do here, once again, make quinoa. And that's what she did here. She made quinoa. And then you can pick practically all of the stuff, you know, the beans you can have from the can, the corn you can have from the cans. This is not as much, but see what else you have. See what else you think will be okay. Mix it up, and here you got another excellent salad like this is guys this is a, a restaurant quality salad but when you're in the camp it's even better life okay i have to scroll up to see this one because i really like this idea life with the crusty cut oh with the crust cut off okay don't worry i'm mispronouncing things but i will put the correct links in the description Okay, those are uh, ham and Swiss croissants, hot sandwiches, and they're extremely easy. We do stuff like that. Uh, they're incredibly cool and easy to do. So you put the mustard on the croissant, and then you add cheese and ham, and you wrap them in a foil. And from there, you could, you know, you can store it in the fridge, and when the time comes, you just put it, you, you warm it up, you put it in a microwave, or you uh, probably most likely can put it in a fire just for a bit, and you will have with the perfect, you know, Hamas will smell perfect dinner anytime. And this is a mashed potato. Believe it or not, you can actually make a mashed potato ahead of going to the camp and eat it there. Okay, now let's get to my favorite ones. There are three. This is uh, the big man's world. It's a protein lover's trail mix. Okay, so let's talk simplicity. Let's really talk sim take simplicity. Take the stuff that you like, put it in a, put it in a container, and here you have it. Um, this is another unusual one. This one is by allergygirleats.com, and it's honey roasting but it's what she's roasting she's roasting chickpeas my god guys this is a chickpeas that you can pre-roast with honey and they're gonna be sweet and it's it looks like a very interesting crunchy snack okay and now my absolutely favorite one especially for any mom who has to deal with the children, especially outside, especially in the places where you cannot just buckle them in or zip them in and close the door and just um, take a break for a second. Well, here is the alternative. This one is called, can you guess? It is called, I have to scroll to the top because the name says it all, Mason Jar Boozy Tropical Fruit Salad. Guess what? Miss Elaine of flavorandsaber.com. She thought of us. She knows what we are going through. So what she did, she created a, yeah, ultimately a fruit salad that she put in a mason jar. And to make it as extra special, she added this mystery ingredient called lemon cello liqueur. Yes, girls, this is the stuff. This is the kind of a drink I want to have when I'm outside. Hopefully not fighting mosquitoes. I also wanted to share some really interesting ideas that I found on Amazon. It's not something I, I wish I had the last time we were camping. This is a Texport heavy-duty 
over the fire grill. Uh, you remember we were talking about the little croissants in foil. Those probably would be perfect to put on top of this. I, I, you don't want really want to throw it in the fire, but this would be would work great for putting, you know, pots and pans on. Okay, this is a marshmallow roasting stick. So yes, do you remember those s'mores? Uh, it, it looks like a very. It has really good ratings, and I think this is this would be a hit in my house because it looks like a really yeah look at that okay uh and now yes every my every mom knows what comes after food comes the dishes well this is a portable sink so we get to um yeah we get to wash the dishes but hey it's better to have something like this than not have anything at all so, which one was your favorite? I think it's really, really cool. So, once again, please tell us down below which below which one of these recipes you really liked, and hopefully, maybe one they will make yourself in a while. And hit that big fat subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Until next time.